Hello, it's Mr. Ops here, and today we're going to take a look at quadratics with roots that are 1 minus 2i and 3 plus i, and determine the quadratic equation in this form. Well, typically, if we have one co complex root and it has its conjugate pair, then b and c are real numbers. But because these are not a pair, like a conjugate pair, these b and c are not going to be real numbers. And so when I set up my factors, I plug these values in, I make sure I don't make any careless mistakes here like I've done in the past, and I just take off my parentheses. And really the only way to do this is to just, with brute force, just plug and chug it all out. And so when we do that, I can go x times all of them, so I get x squared minus 3x minus xi. And then the negative 1 by all of them, so I get negative x plus 3 my, uh, plus i. And then the 2i times all of them, and I get uh, plus a 2ix minus a 6i, and then a negative 2i squared minus 2i squared. <clears throat> and now it's just a matter of collecting like terms. There is only one x squared, so this one is accounted for. Here is an x, here is an x, and here is an x, and here is an x. And so if I pull out the x's from there, I get negative 3 minus x will be minus 4. So these ones are gone. The negative i plus 2i will be a plus i and the x is pulled out, <clears throat> so these ones are gone. And then finally I have a 3, an i, minus 6i, and this here will be a plus 2, because the negative 1. And so if I have my term here at the end, I got 3 plus 2 is plus 5. And then i minus 6i will be minus 5i equal to 0. So this is b, and this is c. And so we brute force it all out, multiplying things out, making sure we don't mess up our positives and negatives, and this is what our quadratic will be.